So you're down with the neurodivergent doctor here. So I wanted to ask you, um, you saw the Olympics, right? Well, I made a little edit for you to react to right now. not supposed to be funny. Why are you laughing? No, what y'all laughing at? <laughs> anyway, so what are your thoughts on this? Why is it that somebody can get so far along on a professional platform and nobody tells them that what they're doing doesn't look good? And to me, Rachel Gunn, her breakdancing performance mm -hmm. was hilarious and I want to see more of it. So the whole point is, these are areas where uh, somebody like, you might want to have an autistic person on your team just to kind of tell you what's up. Again, not all autistic people are going to be totally up front with you. Some have been so burned by being up front with people that they've been destroyed. Hey, I need you to watch my performance. Do I suck or not? Hey, read this paper. Do I suck? Look mm. at my outfit. Is it a bunch of crap? Like Dwight on The Office. Pam, she asked Dwight if she was hot, and Dwight responded with... Why would I or anyone else think that you're hot right now? I can't impregnate you, and that's the driving force between male-female attraction. Obviously, you're at an all-time low. So I guess the takeaway of this is autistic people are generally just more upfront with people. They're more honest, right? ADHD and autism, some of the hallmark symptoms of those is impulsive behavior, impulsive um, talking about things, not having a filter, just saying what you need to say. Now, this is the thing, though. It's highly valued in a lot of industries. If you have somebody on your team that can just give it to you straight, just give it to you, just tell you what's wrong, tell you what, what that was like, you can avoid a lot of problems going forward. And it's not always easy to hear when somebody's just going to come in and tell you, hey, your paper was crap, or your presentation was crap, or your break dancing <laughs> was crap. So, so that could have been a very valuable place for autistic or ADHD people to have a role in these situations to where they could be like, hey, what do you think? And the autistic person can be like, wow, I thought that looked like, you know, my eight-year-old nephew trying to show off in the backyard during a family reunion, you know? Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of people coming to her defense right now, which is cool. She's got a lot of support. Some people are saying... Um, Hey, uh, think about the, the person. This is an individual. Let's not just be a bunch of internet trolls and things like that. Let's not hate on her for doing this. Yeah, let's not, let's not be a bunch of punks to somebody that, that did their best and, and you know tried their hardest. However, this is the Olympics, and this is different. You're actually out there to compete, to be scrutinized, to show that you're better than anybody else in the world at this. And quite frankly, there were kids in my um, middle school that could have wiped the floor with her, literally, um, doing the spins. Mm -hmm. They would have they just totally annihilated her in a competition. And there are other examples of celebrities doing this. Something like Fergie's National Anthem. She's a good singer and all, but someone should have been there to tell her that her routine isn't, isn't it. And even the basketball players were laughing. Um, some were trying to hold in their laughs, actually. So why did Fergie get up and give one of the worst performances we've ever we've seen since Roseanne Barr for the national anthem? You have any idea why? Why isn't there somebody on her team that's impulsive <laughs> or it's their job to just be like, you know what, that sounds horrible. If you go out there and do that, you're going to get laughed at. Why wouldn't they have somebody like that? They're her friends and they don't want to be mean. And they're her friends and they don't want to be mean, right? Yeah. So if you're always around people who are always telling you that that your crap doesn't stink and that your, your farts are like gold platinum record selling, you know, ability, then I don't know. Like you go out and do crap like this and you fall flat on your face and you get a reality check, so. This is a shorter video and we were having fun with this video and we wanted to talk about the Olympics as well and honesty 
And this message was brought to you by NeuroDivergent Doctor.